beautiful darlings. Welcome or welcome back. <laughs> I am Nessa. This is my makeup nook that sits at the end of my hallway. So you're going to hear traffic. The house is open today. It is a beautiful first of March when I am filming this. While I have your attention, if you'd be so be so kind to subscribe to my channel, I am brand brand new, brand new to this YouTube world, and I have a very small following, and I would love it if you would subscribe and become part of my crazy little family. And while you're there, feel free to give me a big old thumbs up for the content today, the look today in celebration of St. Patty's Day. While you're down there, um, don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified of my future uploads. And by the way, just for you, my beautiful darlings, I am here Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. That is when my videos upload just for you. If you want to see how I did this look, isn't it stunning? Look at that green. I can show you. All you have to do is grab yourself a bevy, sit right there, and I'll show you how I put it together. All right, so let's pull back the bangs with our Shamrockies. St. Patty's Day is coming up right around the corner. Make sure you wear your green so you don't get pinched. I'm going to create a look today with a 35B palette from Morphe. This is just the Lisa Frank version. Before we get too far crazy, I would like to drag out my look today. So I am going to use my e.l.f. What are these things called? Line and Define tapes, just a couple of dollars. These are not too expensive at all. And it says I only need half for each size, so we'll cut them in half. And put them on my fancy face. <laughs> so we're going to just put it on at an angle like that. Yeah. All right, I know it looks funny. Really, truly, I do know it looks funny but it'll give us that crisp edge that we so desperately need. Use this color in a cut crease. Look at that, look at that look. It's one of my neon colors that I don't really, don't use very often. I should, but I don't. And like the outer V, smoke it out. Back into M503, and we're going to place it right out here in this outer V. Almost a black, it's a dark, dark navy. And I'm gonna go up and all the way out to the end, not to the end, to the end of my brow right here. See where my brow ends? And tap it right in there, just like that. And across my lid into the middle. Okay, creases are where you cut the interior of your eye <laughs> cut the and you put this different this different color here so you're gonna have to go above your crease see where my crease lays right there I'm gonna go above my crease with this color this dark color the guy is a M507 I'm gonna tap into him just like that and we're gonna take this color we're gonna rest my brows and we're gonna take it above my crease because keep in mind that when you cut your crease, you're going to see that neon green and in whatever color you put above your crease. Okay, so we're just going to lay that down there and get it in there. Pretty pigmented. It's probably not the best color to use, All right. but. All right. Just like that. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I'll be right back. There we go. Two, thinking, blended it out with the orange. Just because I can. Just a flat, blendy brush from e.l.f. Color switch it. And I'm going to pop into that. And I'm going to bump, I'm gonna raise my eyebrows, and I'm gonna bump into that Pandas Painter. Okay, and I'm just going to Buff out that towards my brow and that green up. It doesn't look as harsh. Okay, up into the lighter green, lighter orange. And I'm going to do the same motion just to lighten it up a little bit. 
keep in mind color theory and you're doing dark against light so you won't get that perfect blend out if you're looking for that this is just going to be just going to be like that okay and the same thing on the other side and i'll be right back okay so then we're going to cut a crease and use a concealer this is just my elf hydrating camo concealer i'm going to use a flat blending brush you're just going to follow this crease also do the trick that i used to do and that was Run it along my lash line, along my eyes, and then that would get you your crease. Just gonna put that crease down. Oops. All right, just like that. And then you're gonna paint it on. Maybe. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta get the product on the brush. And up. And over. You know, I'm not really good at cut creases. It's not my special type. And I'm definitely not a professional when it comes to makeup at all. So, I'm going to get it right out there. And I'll stop right about here. Okay, leaving that dark out there on the edge. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and I'll be right back. Alright, so that's what it looked like. My NYX. My NYX professional makeup eye base in the shade white and I'm going to go over what I just did with the concealer and the only reason I'm doing that is so I can get that bright crisp color versus it just being a concealer so I'm just going to put this base down in the exact same order that I did um, the concealer I'm going to do the other side off camera and we'll be right back. I finished. We're just, just going to take the um, excess that's on the lid and the little guy and we're going to just pack it on there. Just like that. Don't know if this is the right brush to use, but we will start with it and then we can always move on. If it doesn't like what it's doing for me, I can always move on. So, just gonna tap it on there. Kind of like this brush. Get it right up into that little. See where that little concealer and all that stuff stopped. I'm just gonna push it right up into that bluish color. That what was it? Panda's painter or whatever. Tap it off, and then we just keep going. Just keep going. Okay. got these to, with the best of intentions to do wild crazy looks with them and I have used them twice <laughs> this time and once on my live on Facebook so you know I mean that's a start okay so, I'm gonna finesse a little bit more off camera I'm gonna do the other side as well and I will be right back don't go nowhere so there we go Wow that is a color. That is a color and I love it. I love it. From there, we are just going to take this little baby brush, a little bit of orange, that lighter orange, and we're just gonna finesse this blue out here just because I'm not liking that just yet. It's not to the stage I want it to be when it comes to it's not going to be perfect. My looks never are. Please don't be here for that. Don't criticize me. I'm not a professional, but I like to do makeup. So there we go. I'm just going to call that good because once we put a lash on and mascara and get all that happy little stuff up there, it's going to be great. So cool. we're going to the tapes off. Get that crisp little line that we so absolutely love. Cool eyeliner and I'm gonna just get crazy in here okay and I'm gonna do this off camera and I will be right back all right so call me crazy but I love black eye under eyeliner I just do but we are going to tiny little brindy brush from Morphe the M507 
And we're going to jump into the black that we have in there and we're just going to kind of, I don't know, put this black under here. Why? Because we can. Try to drag it into the look as well, just to get it up there. And just to get that liner a covering on that top of that liner. Is it the right way to do it? Probably not. But that's how I'm going to do it. You could put mascara on, take down the bangs, put on some earrings, run to work. Problem solved. You would not have to wear any green. But let me introduce myself. My name is Nessa, and I love lashes. I believe they are the finishing touch to every look. Do I wear them every day? No. But we're going to wear them today. Here's our game changing glue liner because you do not have to be afraid of lashes anymore. Take the liner, shake it up, shake it up, baby. We're going to crawl up on our mirror. Mirror is right here, right underneath you. I'm going to look down. You can use a bathroom mirror. You can use a mirror. You can use any mirror as long as you're looking down. You probably could use, even use your cell phone if you really wanted to. As long as you are looking down. Because you need to see the top of your line. So quick, I'm going to use my dollar store mascara. And I'm going to wiggle it on there. Real quick. Just to get it to match with my lash. This would be my left one. As you can tell on this one, it's a dramatic change. This is my interior because she's shorter. This is my exterior because she's a little longer. You're going to wiggle, 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 wiggle. I grab it with my fingers, crawl up onto that mirror, look down, and place that lash right on that liner. As close to my lash, my natural lash, as I can get it. Tuck the end, tuck, tuck, tuck. Grab that interior, close the eye, tuck, tuck, tuck. Push it up a little bit. And just like that, my darlings, beautiful. Your lashes are done. Game changing. Game changing. I'm going to do the other one off camera and I will be right back. Here you go. Just like that. The only thing that I want to do a highlighter in my interior. I just want to put that little highlighter in there. So we're going to take that same little flatty brush that we've been using. We're going to tap into I'm going to spritz it. Spritz it. It's a, it's pretty, <laughs> with the setting spray and then I'm going to put that in the interior of my eye just to give it a little bling a little zip a little bit a little bit more life in there I love that inner corner highlight more on the under eye with the black that black big black eyeliner and I push it into this corner right here on both sides okay and while I was off camera I did take my elf cream pot liner in the shade black and I ran it into my waterline just because I wanted that to stay that beautiful note I am going to take down the bangs fluff the hair and just like that it all makes sense and there you go you got your papa color you got your papa green for saint patty's day march 17th don't forget unless you want to get pinched <laughs> so let's look up our beauty quote for today in case y'all don't know my makeup nook is in marilyn monroe theme to honor my mom who was a huge marilyn monroe fan and she passed away in 2019 well, she was my whole world and i did this little makeup nook in honor of her Today's quote is from Miss Marilyn Monroe herself, and it says, smile, happiness looks gorgeous on you. So there you go, my beautiful darlings, there you go. Once again, remember, St. Patty's Day is the 17th of March. Please, please, please wear your green, or you're gonna get pinched, unless you like that, unless that's your thing. So, much love, my beautiful darlings, much love, and I hope to see you guys back here in my next video. Bye.